More than 53 million Americans are expected to be traveling for Thanksgiving, but there are concerns holiday gatherings could make the pandemic worse. Hospitalizations are already ticking up again, and a new consensus forecast from the CDC predicts an acceleration in hospital admissions in the next few weeks. ER doctor Megan Ranney joins us now from Providence, Rhode Island, to talk about how we can all stay safe. Dr. Ranney, welcome and happy Thanksgiving. Good to see you again. So let's talk about your advice for people gathering today, especially if there are some folks who are not vaccinated. So thank you, Vlad, and happy Thanksgiving to all of you as well. There are really two things you can do to keep yourself safe. The first is to reduce the risk that anybody at your gathering is infectious and doesn't know it. And the second is to reduce the risk of spread if somebody does somehow slip through those defenses that you have to keep everyone safe. For the first part, the best thing is vaccination and boosters if eligible, but it's a little late today if you're not vaccinated already. So what I'm recommending to all families, including my own, is that you buy those rapid antigen tests at the drugstore. They take about 15 minutes to get results, really easy directions, and they provide an added layer of security that no one who's showing up at your gathering is actively infectious. For the second right, so part, which is reducing the risk. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Vlad. No, go ahead, Dr. Randy, sorry. I was gonna say the second thing is if to reduce the risk of spread, you can obviously wear masks, but that's awfully tough with turkey and stuffing. So instead you can open windows or even consider taking the gathering outside. So that's the advice for folks that are gathering for Thanksgiving. What concerns you most though in the weeks and months ahead? So I'm definitely worried about these gatherings being a source of spread of the virus. We know there are already surges across the Northeast and the North. And as an ER doc, I can tell you our hospitals are already overwhelmed with all of the sickness, all of the demand that got pent up during COVID. You know, my own state, um, our director of our Department of Health asked folks to avoid the emergency department if possible. The state just above me, Massachusetts, has canceled many elective surgeries. Even a small surge in COVID right now is going to put our hospitals absolutely over the edge. Dr. Randy, less than 20% of Americans who are eligible for booster shots have received them. I've seen some doctors suggesting a population of unvaccinated and vaccinated folks could mean a mutation in the virus and another variant in the spring. Does that concern you? It absolutely does. As long as we have these big pockets of unvaccinated people, it serves as a perfect Petri dish for mutations. The one positive, depending on how you look at it, is that this Delta variant spreads so easily, it is crowding out any other mutations right now, but there's certainly the chance for something worse. And our best protection against that is vaccinating not just the US, but also the rest of the globe. Dr. Megan Ranney, always good to see you. Happy Thanksgiving, thank you.